Hello, I'm Gary Myers, and I'm the director of the Palliative Care Specialty Curriculum that's offered online by Healthcare Chaplaincy in partnership with California State University at San Marco. In this demonstration video, I want to show you the structure of the course and how to access uh, some critical parts of the course. Right now, we're on the main page, and on the main page, we'll will find links. Uh, I'm pointing to the various links uh, at the moment. And you'll find all the links that you need to enter every aspect of the course. I want to scroll down here a bit and show you uh, how the course is laid out. Uh, there's nine modules, and the modules are listed sequentially. You can see here we're at module one. And if we scroll down, we go past uh, module two, module three, module four, and so on. I'd like to use this as an example uh, to show you how you would work your way through a module. You start here with the pretest. You just click on this link, and the pretest will open. And you'll find several questions uh, that are usually multiple choice. And uh, just do the best you can. The design of the test is just for you to check where you're at in your knowledge level before you work your way through the module. As you uh, move down, you'll see that there's a number of links uh, uh, in each module. And in this section is the core knowledge and learning activities section. And here you'll find links to all the course content uh, that you'll be studying, as well as the learning activities that you'll res be responding uh, to your fellow students and to questions that are uh, asked uh, in each of the learning activities. So let's uh, go into this uh, content area just to take a look. So you put your cursor on the link, you click, and it opens up uh, to uh, the content of the course, uh, or at least one section of the content. And from here, after you've studied it and you feel ready to go to the learning activity, you come up here and just click the return arrow. It'll take you back to the main page of the course, and now you want to highlight the learning activity. And here in the learning activity is where you'll post to questions and post to your fellow students uh, responses to the questions. So let's click and enter here. And we're at the learning activity page. And we see that here uh, you'll find the question or questions that you're to respond to. In this particular one, it's a case and you're asked to do some reflection on. So you may find the case actually here in the learning activity section, or you may find it uh, in the reading section that you went through just previous uh, to the learning activity. So when you're ready to, to uh, post, you just scroll down here and you see this section and go over here to the left column. There are usually three learning teams and students are divided up into A, B, and C. Find your learning team here and here is where you will click to enter uh, the forum and to make your post. Do not click here, add a new question, because that will just uh, add another thread of conversation that's outside of these and it'll be very confusing. This is reserved for the instructor only. So don't click here, click in this column, A, B, or C, depending on your team. Okay, well let's enter, we click here, and we see the, the forum screen. And I'll just scroll through it uh, briefly, and you can see here's where all the students post and the instructor post posts as well, commenting on the various posts. You can see it's a, a quite extensive uh, and, and really intensive dialogue, uh, which I think you'll really enjoy being a part of. And uh, uh, I know you'll contribute uh, to it as well as learn. When you're ready to post, come over here to the right-hand side and click on this reply link. This will take you to a text box where you can type out your, uh, uh, your post. If you want a bigger screen to type on, you can come up here to this button, and it'll open it up a little wider. And let's see, you can just post whatever it is you want 
you want to do and when you finish you have to come back up to this button so you go back to the original text box and now you want to come down here to post a form and you have to this is an important step um, if you don't post and you leave this page you'll lose your post so you've got to post it to the form before you leave so you just click here sometimes it takes two clicks I've noticed and now it's in the process of posting and here you can see where I've been posting some test posts so usually this will come up your post will be at the bottom of whatever previous posts have been made so we're going to scroll back to the top of the forum here just so we can get to this uh, return arrow up here which will take us back uh, to the main page and we have to click on it uh, about four times to get back and here we are back at the at the main page and now we're ready to go on to the next uh, uh, content section and here we see a case um, that is content or description of the case and then another learning activity and and you just continue your way like this all throughout the course uh, let's go back to the top of the main page and I want to show you here in um, the general student forms here are, are areas uh, where you can post uh, uh, like, like here in the icebreaker forum be sure to come here first uh, before you start your other uh, modules because here you can respond to questions about yourself and this helps you become uh, more acquainted with your fellow learners. Cafe Intermezzo is a forum where you can just uh, chat on social non-course related things uh, as you like. The news forum is where you find the latest communication uh, from me. When I post to you, you'll see this in the news forum and, and so on. So one thing before we wind up, I want you to be sure you can find, and that's the course syllabus. Let's click on that. And here you'll find the overview of the course, the course structure, uh, a description of collaborative learning, which is uh, uh, a, a central principle of this course, form etiquette, role of faculty, be sure to read that, and requirements and uh, learning goals and so on. At the end, you'll find a, a course schedule. So let's go back and return to the main page. And uh, I think I'll bring this to a close. I wish you well, and I hope that uh, the course is very productive for you. And um, I'll say goodbye for now. Uh, good luck with the course.